Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP Pavilion 15 laptop. This one is a uh, AC uh, series which is, makes it an HP Pavilion 15-AC series. Specifically this one is an AC 127 but this applies for any AC models. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to upgrade the RAM on this model. They do come with an uh, 4 gig RAM, but if you want to pump it up to 8 gig RAM, uh, I'll show you in this video how to do it. First thing first, you want to power it off completely. You want to flip it upside down. You want to remove the battery by pulling this trigger to unlock position and slide the battery back. Now, you need a screwdriver set. I'll use the iFixit tool set for a screwdriver. They have one of the best screwdrivers. These are S2 class steel. And we're going to use a Phillips number one. You need an opening tool. You can get the pro version set on this one, which includes an opening tool. Or you can just buy yourself a guitar pick, a metallic one. These are really suitable to opening electronics. All right. That said, first thing first, once you power it up on the bottom, uh, bottom of the laptop, you're going to see after removing the battery, obviously, you're going to see a few screws. And there are two hidden screws right under the battery and there's one screw under each of these rubber legs. One is right here and the other one is right over here. It has an adhesive so you just have to rip it up. So go ahead and remove all the screws. Don't worry, all the screws are the same size and height. You can mismatch them, nothing's gonna happen. So go ahead and remove all the screws. Also, I realize only one person of my viewers are subscribed to my channel. If you guys find my content helpful and helping you guys out and you want to support the channel, just click that like button on the video and think about subscribing. I will greatly appreciate it and it helps and motivates me to make more videos and take requests from you guys. All right, once you remove all the screws, what you want to do, you want to Open up the laptop a little bit and now uh, you want to stick the opening tool or the guitar pick in this case between the top and the bottom cover right where the two top meet the bottom cover and the top cover the palm rest. You stick it all the way in up to two or three millimeters that's as far as it goes. Now you want to just scoop it out like this do half a little bit walk around do the same I mean, don't walk around literally, but just work it around, I guess. Do the same thing on the sides. Just go there. I'm just twisting it like this. Gonna go twist all the way to the back corners. Do the left and right side. As much as you can, pretty much. The better job you do, the better easier it's gonna make your life. So once you loosen it up, uh, flip it upside down. Now you want to grab it from wherever you see the SD card really on single USB port. You want to grab it from there, just the bottom cover. We're just grabbing the bottom cover, which is loose already. I'm going to lift up. I'm going to put my finger right at the, by the hinges here. So I'm just bringing my hand. I'm just scooping it up. Bring it up. Wob wobble it around like I wiggle it around until you get another hook unhooked from here. Once it's hooked, just push it towards the other USB port, HDMI port, and you will release the rest. And it should come up. Pretty much this is a snap-on. Don't worry if you break a little bit of the clips on the top because of the overtime, these clips, they get dried up. So the whole thing that is being held down by a screw, so these clips are not that necessary. So don't worry about it if you break one of those clips. Anyway, down here we have the hard drive. I already made another video how to increase your speed up your hard drive by replacing an SSD drive. It will make it much faster. And in this video, we're going to cover the RAM. In this laptop on the AC model 15-AC series, only has one RAM DIMM available. The second RAM DIMM is not even installed. Even if you want to install the second RAM DIMM, we, we tried it. Is not gonna work because it's missing few components and even in power even you have to change modify the BIOS and upgrade the BIOS so it's like a big hassle 
But for you guys, if you want to do it at home, simply grab this RAM that you have, which is 4 gig. You want to grab these two triggers and pull them apart from each other and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. And then you just simply want to take it out in the same 45 degree angle. This is a DDR3 RAM 4 gig. You can get a, uh, what's called an 8 gig RAM, which is, should be a DDR3. I'll leave the link in the description. And then you want to bring it, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the RAM dim. It doesn't matter what orientation the RAM chips are. Maybe you might not have any RAM chips in here. It could be on one side only. So don't worry about it as long as the notch matches. You want to bring it down in 45 degree angle. I'm not bringing it straight. I'm bringing it down in 45 all the way to the contact. Make sure you push it towards the contact and then push it towards the motherboard. Once you push it towards the motherboard, you want to hear these triggers open and close and make a nice click sound and it stays straight. So if you try to put it uh, halfway through, let's say if I try to put it like that, not all the way in, it's going to be really hard to push it towards the monitor. They're not just going to open and close. I can, I can just break it by pressing on it. So make sure you just push it all the way towards the jack. Just grab it for both up, pinch it, and then simply towards the motherboard. And that's how you upgrade the, what's called the RAM for this model. Once you finish with that, you want to grab the bottom cover. You want to find out where the HDMI port cover is, and you want to hook it up right or I should say scoop it right underneath the jacks bring it in there and then press it you should hit a couple of clicks and then you want to hold it down let go of the other side and press the front end make sure it does click go to the side push it down go to the back and right under the battery you want to push this one down too and once you have all those Pinched in there, you can open it up to double check if there's anything opened. And obviously there's one place open right over here. So you can simply just grab it by two hands and just pinch it. And it will go to its place. Go all around it, make sure there's no more opening. And the last thing would be to just put it upside down and placing the bottom screws. And don't forget that it screws under the rubber legs. And that should be all. And remember, when you turn on the laptop, it might take about 5 to 10 seconds for an initial um, boot to detect the RAM and to do a RAM, or oh, it's called a memory check. So don't panic if you turn on and it takes about 5 to 10 seconds before it shows anything on the screen. And if you have any question or request, leave them in the comment area. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And as always, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the screws.